hi welcome back so in this lecture we are going to add footer to our website and we will also modify this copyright information for our website and here we will be adding a footer that will contain certain things so let's go to add footers in this optimizer theme we need to go to the footer option click on that and then you can see there are three options footer widgets footer style and copyright area so see this copyright area you can just click on this and you can put your business name okay you can write like copyright at your business okay and then save see here now it is coming copyrighted your business you can put the copyright symbol here so instead of at the rate okay that is not a problem and then you can change the color of the background area so let it be like this you can anyway you can select a color from here and you can add and you can select the color for your this thing okay so this way you can change the color if you put red it will be coming like this you can put this color or this color or white okay so this way you can modify the copyright information then we have the footer widgets so we can add footer widgets to our website so let's click on add the first thing i want to add is recent posts so click on that and here you can put the heading for popular posts and it will be added so let's see how it is looking see here it is showing popular post and all the popular posts are here so save and publish and then refresh the website on the other tab and see how it is looking see here now here there is another footer this is copyright information and here it is coming the popular post and it is showing all the popular posts recent posts on the link so you can click and you can go to that particular post page okay and then you can click on the here and you can go to the home page so let's add some more widgets so we click on add and now what i add i will add a text okay so in the text what i write subscribe you can put the subscribe to our newsletter and then you can put the html form it is simple input type text placeholder enter email and name will be email and input type submit submit for this this is for input type submit is for the this submit button and for this email text area we are giving this input type text and we are giving the placeholder enter email id so user can enter the email id and he can submit and you can get the user information so this is also you can add click on save and publish and see how it is looking see here now it is coming like popular post and subscribe to our newsletter and then we can add more widgets let's see what else we can add you can add a search okay you can put find more or something you can put whatever suitable for you so you can put there and then let's see we can add what else we can add we can add you can add a not a about widgets let's add if you want you can add calendar if you want add category okay so let's add category and see how it is looking okay it's cool so 
click on submit uh, save and publish and let's see how our website is looking now so see here starting from here see from our blog product and services then see here this is coming like a very cool footer here a subscribe field then find more user can search and then categories what are the categories you are having you can list here pay your pages here so see here now it is looking like a very professional business website okay so this is how we can create a business website using wordpress and it is so simple in the next lecture we will try to add the social icons to our website like facebook twitter etc okay see you in the next lecture